I'm senior Seth Meikle. And I'm sophomore Alex Beckel. Welcome to season two, episode three of the Bears Buzz. Now we will have you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanksgiving is coming, and people are ready to feast on their favorite foods. School news reporter Dawson Meikle has gone out and asked students on their favorite part of Thanksgiving. I'm Dawson Meikle, and I asked the Lake of the Woods High School students what their favorite thing about Thanksgiving was. Oh, definitely all the food. I would say the food. My favorite thing about Thanksgiving <laughs> is uh, the pumpkin pie. My favorite thing about Thanksgiving is definitely the food, and I load up my plate every year, and this year I'm going to make sure I eat a lot. Yep. Turkey. I the food. Food and family. Uh, my favorite part of Thanksgiving is cranberry juice, because I have a yearly tradition where I drink a bottle a day for 10 days straight. My favorite thing about Thanksgiving is hanging out with my family. Definitely have to say the food, the getting together with family. Watching a football game with my family. The food. The families and friends and the food, and you get to spend a good time together. The name. Meeting my friends and my family. And the food. I really like having a bit of school off, get a break. The pie. Dipping turkey in gravy. Going deer hunting and watching football with my family. Don't really do Thanksgiving in the Philippines, but I guess if I'm going to experience it this year in America, I guess it would be the turkey. I'd like to taste it. It's time to announce the birthdays. coming and there's so many amazing books to read. News reporter Trevor Johnson went and interviewed the book fair director. Thank you Alex and Seth. These next few weeks at Lake Lewis School they are doing their annual scholastic book fair. Um, it has a direct impact on the kids because um, especially the third book fair is a BOGO book fair. So it gets books in the kids' hands um, from preschool all the way to sixth grade and then all the special ed kids also get certificates for free books. Um, however much we sell through Scholastic, we get a percent back and we can buy books for the school with that percentage that Scholastic gives us. It's now time for the lunch this week. On Monday, cheese-filled breadsticks, spaghetti sauce, green peas, and choice of fruit. On Tuesday, hamburger, with gravy, mashed potatoes, broccoli and carrots, bread, and also choice of fruit. On Wednesday, quesadilla, black beans and rice, carrots, and choice of fruit. On Thursday, stuffed crust pizza, romaine lettuce, red peppers, choice of fruit. And Friday, chicken noodle soup, meat and cheese sandwich, celery, and choice of fruit. The studs quote of the day is it won't be easy, but it will be worth it. Exclamation mark, exclamation point, exclamation point. Now for the Bears Sports Report covered by Vinnie Cali. Thank you, Alex and Seth. And now let's go into last week's sports. Last week, the girls varsity basketball took on Rozo and lost 86 to 34. 
Now into upcoming sports. As of recording this, the girls varsity basketball is taking on War Road. Varsity girls basketball is going to be taking on Kelly, or Black Duck, and Pine River. On varsity boys hockey, they will be taking on Bagley, Park Rapids, and Fort Francis. Varsity boys basketball will be taking on Little Fork, Grigla, and Walker. JV Boys Hockey will be taking on Park Rapids. <sighs> That'll wrap up sports for this week. Now back to you, Alex and Seth. Reporter Morgan and interviewed the band students about the solos and the winter concert. concert. Your Lake of the Woods music students have been working hard preparing for their solo contest at Roseau and their winter concert on November 22nd. From elementary kids to high school students, let's see their thoughts on these performances. So there were seven band students that attended contests this year. There were six that earned superiors and one that earned an excellent rating. So a solo contest is when one student performs at a time and they work on a piece on their own time. So they either schedule lessons or and practice at home. They can't just do one or the other usually. And, uh, and then they go perform in front of a judge by themselves. Where the contest that's coming up later on this winter is where the entire band is working on a piece together and we are critiqued as a band how our performance is. Also, that song has to be chosen off of a selected list that Minnesota provides. Um, I played a solo on my flute. Well, I played my oboe and I also sang. Um, I got a superior, which was better than I did last year. I got superiors on both of them. I would say that um, students that repeated doing solos improved because they had harder solos to play and they, you know, they did a good job last year as well. Um, I wasn't nervous until right before I started playing and then I got really nervous. I was more nervous for my band solo because the second movement was really fast and I had to do a lot of notes really fast. I always just want students to perform their best and not let nerves take over, and everyone performed the way I expected them to, and they did great. Um, definitely just take the time each week to practice and like make yourself do it. I'd say just start early and practice as much as you can, because practice really matters. It was really good. It was really, really good. Having that many superior ratings in one contest is really cool. Band students are putting an extra effort to get prepared for their winter concert. Elementary and high school musicians will be performing on November 22nd with their band, as well as the solos that were played this year at solo contests in Rozo. This week's Community Spotlight is covering the Veterans Day program, which happened November 16th and is covered by Natasha McGuire. Thank you, Seth and Alex. On November 16th, we had our annual Veterans Day program. Our band and choir both performed. I went around and asked a couple of students why they think this program is good for our community. My name is Toby Burke, and I'm a retired Chief Master Sergeant, 26 and a half years in the Air Force. Moved up here in 95, 1995. My name is Patrick Goebbels, and I joined the uh, Army Reserve on a delayed enlistment in 1976, and I was active reservist for, uh, that would be till 1984, that would be eight years, and my final out was uh, 1988. I'm freshman Zach Brouse and I'm thankful for the veterans program because it gives a chance for our community to get together and honor our veterans. I'm freshman Nolan Fish and I played taps for the Veterans Day program.
Thanks for watching our Bears Buzz. Stay tuned for the next one. $100,000 got me stepping up. Jagged pill I swallow, guess I got it stuck, got it stuck. Dancing with my shadow like I'm out of touch. Feeling alright, alright. Rumors started spinning, give me space to breathe. Tripping in your eyeline, this ain't ecstasy. Why you televising what you said to me? Feeling alright, alright. What you got, what you got, cause I'm putting it on. What's your favorite? You don't know. Get back. I already have it all adjusted. Yeah. Should I be like the butt fight is the day after? Or should I just be like.